Mayor Ted Wheeler reached out to reporters today with the first of what he says will be monthly question and answer sessions. In the aftermath of the ICE protest, a big topic. Our Lisa Balick was at the mayor's meeting and joins us live now from Southwest Portland. What did he have to say, Lisa? Well, he talked a lot about what was going on here at ICE, and I'll tell you, it is quite a before and after picture. I'm going to step aside. You can take a look at what taxpayers have spent now, $12,000. That's the estimate of what it costs to clean up after the protest camp here. Occupiers left behind mountains of garbage and other items, from tables and chairs to mattresses, metal, and pieces of wood, human waste. Dozens of campers who finally moved off the city and TriMet owned property by Southwest Bancroft after five weeks of barricading themselves on the land. It took more than two days for teams of workers to clear this place out. I asked the mayor today what he'll do next time a protest turns into an encampment. Will he send in the police quicker to avoid safety issues as well as save taxpayers thousands of dollars? If it were up to me solely, and uh, if I could predict the exact situation, I would prefer to do it sooner rather than later. The mayor told me as police commissioner, he works with law enforcement, and the police chief played a big role in when they would step in. It was when life and safety issues became a concern. While he supported the cause here, he doesn't agree with how it turned into what was declared an unsafe camp. I think it detracts from the main message when an encampment is built and then piles of garbage and biohazard and litter are left behind. And as you can see in this live picture, there are still signs left behind from the protesters. It still will take some time for everything to be cleaned up out here. But that bike and walking path completely cleared out right now. And as far as the mayor goes, it sounds like he is perhaps going to move sooner rather than later in the future in these situations. Live in Southwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Unrecognizable compared to what it was. Thank you, Lisa. Today, Mayor Wheeler and...